Hello there, my name is Jimmy Humphreys, I'm a developer here at Software, and this is a quick rerun of a lightning talk that I gave a couple of weeks ago. My goal is going to be to set up a basic instant messaging site from scratch and deploy it to the cloud all within about 5 minutes. I'll be using .NET's really awesome SignalR framework to do all the hard lifting for me, and I'll be deploying to Microsoft's Azure website service. I'm starting from a totally blank suite late. The only thing I've done in preparation is to log into Azure over here and Visual Studio over here, which hopefully will permit me. All right, so I reckon I can do this in five minutes, so let's start the clock. The first thing we need is a new project. Web project's perfect, and I'm gonna call that GME app. Okay, and an empty no authentication site's perfect. Well, that's spinning up. We'll quick create a website over here in Azure, which we're also gonna call GME app. Great, so that's all running now, and we've got my project over here. The first bit of code I need to add is a SignalR hub class, which I'm going to call GME Hub. That takes just a moment or two to pull in all the resources and stuff that it needs, so I'm um, just going to check on the status of my website. Still building here, still creating. Great, let's see if it worked. Uh, great, so we've got a bit of a placeholder site in there now, and meanwhile, GME Hub is ready for us over here. Right, um, now the other bit of code I'm going to need in the back end is a startup class on startup and it doesn't need to do very much, it just needs to do app.map signal r um, and that's all the code I actually need in there which is grand. Okay, so back to my main hub class, um, I want to people to be able to send messages in this uh, instant messaging client and I also want then the clients to receive those messages um, and as well as receiving the message I'm going to send down some sort of an ID with that and for that I'm just going to use something that gets baked into SignalR which is um, this connection ID ID and I'm just going to use some substring of that. Okay that's actually all of the server side code that we need, well all the back end code that we need um, so now we're ready to make our HTML so make a page called index. On my page I'm going to have an unordered list in which I'm going to store the conversation, I'm going to have an input where you can input new conversation and I'm going to have a button that you can click if you want to send things. Right now I need to pull in some scripts and uh, the first one is just standard jQuery. These scripts were all put into the scripts folder for me when I asked for a SignalR hub class and knew that I was eventually going to need these scripts as well. Um, so yeah, first one's just jQuery, then there's like a special SignalR jQuery um, additional file. And then the last one is an, a magic endpoint that SignalR creates called SignalR slash, uh, slash hubs. Um, and then I'm going to write my own script from here. Um, and the first thing I want to do is pull in um, my connect my hub, which I can get at dollar dot connection dot jimmy hub. Oh, that should be a dot. Fine. Uh, now I need to define what happens when the client is asked to receive something, uh, which is going to be a function which takes that ID and message that we were going to pass it from earlier, and it's just going to tack that on to the end of my unordered list. So we want to do unordered list dot append um, it to a list item. Oh, let's append a list item with an ID, some sort of separator and the message. Now the only other thing I'm going to do is just to escape that message because otherwise people will use um, all sorts of JavaScript attacks on us I'm sure, especially here at software people are mean like that. Um, so yeah this is just a little trick for escaping that. Fine so that should all be f grand now. Now we need to, to do, decide what we need to to do when the button gets clicked, so on button click. Um, again we do a function, don't need any parameters this time, and that is just going to be gme.server in this case, dot send, and we're going to send it the, imp the uh, contents of our input, input.val. Okay, and I'm also just going to grab that there and use the same, well, similar little bit to clear out my value afterwards. Um, the very last thing I need is to start it, which is just uh, connection.hub.start, and hopefully that's all the code I need. So, if the gods are kind, when I publish this now, um, because I'm logged in with my uh, Microsoft account over here, um, in my list of existing websites, any moment now, you'll see Jimmy App appear, perfect, uh, which I can just go ahead and publish. So this is um, busily publishing away, and I'm going to quickly configure one extra thing over here, which is to manage to use this managed domains to um, configure something I see named earlier to work, which is www.jmyapp.co. Oh, it's still in my focus. .co.uk. Right, and that should work as well. So now if we go to jimmyapp.co.uk, Oh, it says the website's been created successfully, so hopefully, yeah, okay, there we go, I've got it now. Um, right, so I think that's going to work, so I'm just going to try to quickly in the last 45 seconds make it look not completely terrible by grabbing some bootstrap stuff. Um, 40 seconds left, let's see if I can do this. So the things I want to do, I want to make this button um, a button, button primary. 
and I want to make this input a form control um, with some extra styling just for width e um, equals like 200 pixels and uh, display uh, in line. Okay, finally, and then just quick style padding equals 20 pixels on that there. And Alt BH, let's publish, good, that's publishing now. Boom, stop the clock at almost exactly five minutes and we have our website up and hopefully running. Um, so, jamieapp.co.uk, let's actually check out whether this has worked or not. So if we want to check out whether this messenger has worked, we need two um, versions of it. So one over here, one over here. And I'm also just going to pull it up very quickly on my phone so that we can see it in all cases. And um, yeah, so hopefully we can now start to send messages to and from each other. So let's have a look. Hello world, fingers crossed. Yay! Okay, it all worked. So you can see that I sent a message over here, and if I send another one, um, it keeps the same sender ID. I can reply over here. Um, all super. And it looks like that's working. And if I go to my phone now, just quickly, and, uh, oh, I've, sorry, didn't successfully type anything in, but you saw that something popped up. Um, hello from phone. And yeah, that all that all works nicely. So I say the main thing that powers this is SignalR. It's just this really great framework that .NET have put together to make sending um, sending messages over open connections really simple, back and forth from client to server. Um, it's all just very. It looks just like straightforward function calls and just. Yeah, it's all very, all very pretty, all very well done. Um, deploying to Azure as well couldn't be easier. So um, I've had, I've had um, a lot of, um, yeah, really, really like this stack. I've had a, a lot of success with this stack. It all seems to go quite well. Anyway, um, that's everything. Um, yeah, five minutes isn't too bad to get something up into into the real world. Thanks.